We're building two types of steps right now. The first one goes up half a flight, hits that landing, goes up the rest of the way up to the top floor. The second one we're building is just a straight up one run. We're going to try to film both and explain how they both work. So we made this all out of 2x10s. It's probably a little beefier than it needs to be, but better safe than sorry. What we did math wise is we took exactly half the distance from the finished floor upstairs to the concrete downstairs and that's where we put the platform. Some of the times it doesn't work out this way. Some of the times you need to have an extra step going up or an extra step going down. In this case it worked out just fine so that's what we have right at half the way, half the distance. This is a temporary support. This is just, the weight of it is not right here. The structure's all on the back end. So what we'll need to be doing, we'll have to frame, put a header board right there, or frame a little wall underneath that to hold the actual support of the rest of the steps. When you're figuring these steps, you want basically like before, this dimension from here to here is going to be 3 8 of an inch longer than from here to here. Reason being, this step, this tread right here is 3 8 of an inch thicker than this. So you have to compensate by that by making this measurement longer so it drops this first tread down 3 8 of an inch lower so it compensates for the thicker tread. And inversely, down at the bottom, do the opposite thing. Three eighths of an inch shorter because you're stepping down to nothing. Actually, I made a mistake. Not three eighths of an inch. An inch and an eighth. This tread, an inch and an eighth thick. Concrete is got nothing on top of it. Inch and an eighth shorter. Got this header board that the whole thing is kind of resting on, or will be resting on at the top. Same with this transition on the top, like we did to the landing. This distance from the top of the truss there down to the top of the riser is going to be 3 8 of an inch taller than it will be from the top of there to the top of there. Here's a side view of the steps we have here. We always nail a regular 2x4 onto the bottom of the risers. The reason we do that is so that when you're trying to get your drywall in here later, you can slide it right down this gap between the wall and the steps, and it makes the drywall look a lot better and a lot easier to pull off. Otherwise, you have to notch it over and up and over and up all the way up the staircase and then it's really difficult to finish all those corners so do that 
two by four right on the bottom of the tread. Riser, I mean, not tread. Let's go over the math on this real fast. Bullet tape measure from the top to the bottom. Top floor to the bottom floor. Find what that difference is. And you're gonna divide it by the estimated amount of steps. You want that number to be as close to seven inches as possible. If it's eight inches, it's gonna be stepping too high. It's gonna feel weird. If it's six inches, it's gonna run all the way through that wall because you're gonna have too many steps. Find out what that number is. This one happened to be seven and five sixteenths. When you're planning out your risers, your stair risers, this is the seven and five sixteenths dimension that I was talking about. This ended up being about 10, which is a little on the short side, but they didn't really give us a lot of room to work with on this particular staircase. 10 will be fine. And that's seven and five sixteenths. So it repeats all the way down this entire staircase with the exception of up here. The distance from here to there is not seven and five sixteenths. It's different than that by about three eighths of an inch because this stair tread is an inch and an eighth thick where this stuff is basically three quarters of an inch thick. So there's a difference. If you cut this the same, then this step right here, this last step up, is gonna be 3 eighths of an inch off. So what you have to do is 7 and 3 eighths of an inch is actually about right here, as opposed to all the way up against the plywood. That's where you need to put it to make it so that this step down here with the inch and an eighth tread planes out the same, is the exact same distance to the top of this. Top of the three quarter inch plywood, when you step down to the top of the tread right here, that should be seven and five sixteenths in this particular house. Your math may vary a little bit. So just like we had to adjust it up at the top step, we have to adjust it at the bottom. This time it adjusts several times because these last three steps are all three quarter inch, where that's the inch and an eighth inch thick. In order to get the distance between the top of this step to the top of this step to be the 7 and 5 sixteenths, exactly what we're going for, we have to do this different. Just It's basically backwards from what we did on the top step. Now the distance between this and this to make it 7 and 5 sixteenths, you're going to have to subtract that 3 eighths of an inch. So that when you're cutting your tread from here to there, is 3 eighths of an inch less than 7 and 5 sixteenths. Up at the top, you're gonna make it more. 7 and 5 sixteenths, 3 eighths of an inch more than that. At the bottom, 7 and 5 sixteenths less than that to compensate for the different thickness in material. If you don't do that, you're gonna feel it every single time you walk up and down the steps. You're gonna feel the difference. You're gonna want three risers. You're gonna want one every about foot and a half two feet, no more than two feet. This happens to be about three feet from this wall to that wall. So we did three risers. If you do less than that, it's gonna flex a little bit. You don't want it to flex, at least not too much. The only difference between doing a staircase like this and a staircase with a landing is you gotta treat it like two individual staircases because the landing is gonna be made out of this thinner three quarter inch material. So you're going to have to compensate for that twice. There'll be two half flights of steps. Well, I hope that all made a little sense. Building stairs can be kind of complicated, but don't let it intimidate you. It's not that hard. It's just math. Just do it. You'll be just fine.